Hello, hello. I'm going live. I'm going live. I don't know if any of you guys can hear me. If you guys are here, can you let me know in the chat? I'm on StreamYard. Wait till I tell you my story and the end. This is like, I'm in uh, my motorhome outside. Can you guys let me know in the chat if you can hear me okay? I'm going to my channel to make sure that I am live. Want to talk about crazy. Let me, oh, I okay, am live. Okay. All right. If anybody can say hello, I'm going to say hello. Hello. Let's get the chat going. We are going to chat today. I'm so excited. I haven't been on live and my internet here. Oh, hi, Kathleen. Hello. Nice to see you. Yes, you can hear me. Awesome sauce. Oh my gosh. Real quick before we start. So I went to my daughter's because she has good internet and we have, we, I'm in New Hampshire right now and we really do not have the greatest internet here. So uh, I'm hoping I don't fall off, but I got a lot to teach today. But anyways, we went to my daughter's, didn't No, the internet here is horrible. Hey, Juan, hello. Let's get off of this. Okay, I'm just so frustrated. I really, hello, 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 all you guys. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for coming. You can hear me. I may come in and out. I apologize. So in the beginning, you will know that the internet is really bad. I have wind going crazy. Kevin hooked me up the best I can to be with you guys. So let's get rolling. Let's get, let's get going. And yes, I am a mess all over the place, but I am so sorry. I am definitely going to rock this today with you guys the best I can. So I want to just say, yes, you're here. Thanks you guys for being here and support of the people that are in the chat right now, rock right now. They're in the creative mentorship. Any of you guys are newbies, please, please introduce yourself to the people that are here uh, because this is why I do this. So you guys can really build a business. I am actually, actually make creativity from within your soul and then be very confident to sell it to other people. That's what my mission is right now. And I hope this is going to work. <laughs> okay, so let's get going. And then... Um, Again, I will always, I'm very interactive. I teach and then I ask questions and you guys can answer, you know, from within each other and I will answer your questions too. All right, you guys. So one of the things that uh, I want to really express with you guys is how to find clients. And it's like the worst thing for any of us photographers. And we know, we know because there's so many people it's saturated out here. It's crazy. So, uh, but there, you can do it and I'm going to teach you how to do it today. So this, the reason why we put real life ways is because a lot of people, uh, you see these things all the time where they're basically saying, Hey Debbie, hello. Nice to see you too. Woohoo!" A lot of people you'll see as you go into social platforms, Hey, we can get you a thousand people. We can get you this 10,000 people. We can get you, you know, all these you know, numbers, 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 and it's nothing to do with numbers. It gets me so frustrated. You guys know in the creative mentorship that I have actually even proven these, I mean, I'm getting these things like, hey, I'll get you all these thousands of people, 3,000, 4,000, who cares? They're nobody. They're not people that you really want to resonate with and the numbers don't matter. And that's what gets me really irked. And that's why I'm here for you guys to know how to get your true, true clients. All right, you guys, because we know it's saturated. So um, I'm going to give you three proven steps. And I am saying proven. I know it's a word that we hear all the time. But I want you to know that these steps is what got me the, the clients that I wanted when I wanted them. And they are working with my students. Right, Debbie? Right. <laughs> and the rest of you guys here. So yes, they are proven and it works. 
and it, it is, it's a passion from within. So I know you guys that are here know me, but let me just, some people don't know who I am. So my name is Janice Sullivan and I am a CEO of Sullivan J Photography and the Photography Creative Coach. And this is where we really focus on supporting and giving you tools so you can create photography business that you really um, are passionate about. And I guarantee that you will make more, at least two to three times than what you're making now. And I do that with uh, you know, a 30 day month guarantee, because if you do the work and you're passionate, you will succeed. You will. There's no two ways about it. So we do this because I want you to be confident in what you truly make. So it's a bold statement. I get it. It's bold, but it's true. And, and I'm very passionate about what I do. And I really do uh, want to help you guys. So now, with those of you guys that are watching live, I hope I'm not yelling at you, but <laughs> because I have the mic right here, those of you guys that are watching live, give this a like. And those of you guys that are watching the replay, comment down below, replay. I'm curious on how many people were here and how many people are watching the replay too. So, um, because I know people can't always make it and it's cold and fall here. So I got a jacket, so I'm kind of woo. doing this outside is interesting. Um, okay. So one of the things that I do is I will, like I say, I always want you guys to chat it up, ask me questions. We will get through it. Um, it's, I don't like to have just like a talking head. So one, so we're going to do three things, three things today, and you can watch the replay. If you think about when you want to find your true clients is we, we know that you love what you do. We know it's time to spread it out it's to the world and to feel valued and, and be monetized and make some money off of it. It'd be fun to get a new lens or whatever, but that's, that's fun. But the true feeling of finding the clients is the connection. And how do we do that? How do we, how do we do that? Well, the first thing I'm going to teach you right now is you got to know yourself from within and it's deep and it's, it truly is deep and you can do that. You could do that by taking some time to understand who you are, what makes you happy, what doesn't make you happy, uh, what is your life principles in the world? And the way we do this is to really view ourselves within ourselves from when we were a child. I'll give you examples from when we were a child to where we're at. Am I back, you guys? Am I back? I'm so sorry. This is, I went to my sister, my daughter's. Okay. I'm back. It's delayed. I'm going to have to crop this off. Yes, I'm so sorry, you guys. I went to Ashley's to try to get good internet. This is why I don't have, because the internet here just fades off and on. This is why the, you guys know when I have my meetings with the creative mentorship, I go to my daughter's because the internet is so bad right now. 
So I am going to do my best and try to rock this really fast. Okay. Cause I could talk forever. So let me just get to this. I, oh, so frustrating you guys. Anyways, if you watch the beginning, um, come back to the beginning, you'll understand why I'm having bad internet. So what I want you to do is I want you to, uh, really think about yourself within. Let me just tell a little bit about me. And like when I was a child, I really loved things in my microscope and I really loved the science of seeing things. I used to do a lot of hiking with my family and go doing outdoors. Well, if you look at my life that have happened too. I'm not going to go into all that right now. But what I want to say is you have to remember the sad things too. The sad things affect you also of why you create the way you do. We are artists. We create for a reason. We create for ourselves and our soul. This is the next step. Everyone in life has these little steps of where you want to go. And monetizing and making a business to me is just the next step. Why not? Why not? I don't understand why people don't. They say it's a real hectic, but I teach you it's not real hectic. It's about communication. So first communicate with yourself and understand why you do what you do. So I personally would love to get out um, and go with Kevin on and go to holiday, right? You know, that's the East Europeans go to holiday. Basically go and get away from reality and go to hotels, go to a nice restaurant. Me and Kevin, um, in the beginning, we were didn't have the money, but in the end, towards the end, we had the money. We could do these things, and it was a great escape. It was escape from my life. I knew that when I would go into a hotel and I see this beautiful piece of art, or I'd go to, um, you know, a show or something that we would do while we were escaping, I wanted. I felt great. This is me. I need you to think about you. What do you like to do? I mean. Uh, you know, I truly love the hospitality industry because I loved industrial design. See, now I did soul searching. You need to soul search too on what you truly, truly love. And this is the connection and why you photograph the way you do. We'll talk about who your client is next, but you have to soul search on yourself. You have to find out truly about you. Um, so it is not about your client yet. It is not about your photography. It's about you as a person, because what we got to do is I'm going to talk fast. I'm sorry because of the internet, because otherwise what you do truly is you sell to all you. We are in a saturated industry. You cannot sell your work to everyone. And I know we're not talking about portfolios. We're not talking about niche. I'm just talking about Putting your work on a website and thinking people are going to come to it is not going to happen. I'm telling you right now, it's, there's no way it's going to happen. you got to make connections. So you want to connect with people that you truly, truly love. And the people that are here right now, I truly, truly love. I mean, I connect with every single one. They are my cyber friends. I have, I've only met Debbie. I haven't met the rest. One of these days I will, I hope in my soul that I will. But what I'm saying is, is that you really want to connect with people that you truly love. There's people out there that don't like me. It's okay. I don't want to work with them. You don't want to work with people that you are not comfortable with. So do those soul searching first. Okay, you guys, um, let me see if there's any comments or questions delayed. It is delayed. I'm so sorry. Yes, I'm back. So I'm talking super fast, you guys, because the internet is so bad. So if you don't understand something, please, please put it in the chat and I will answer it. Okay. I'll answer towards the, the end. I just want to get this going. So first of all, find out who you are and why you photograph the way you do and soul search it and be deep. It's hard. I know, but that will help you now know who you want to work with. That is your clients. So who is your client? You're like, I don't know. That's why I'm here, Janice. <laughs> right? That's okay. It's okay. Because that's why you're going to watch this replay. Hopefully I'll...
Why say find your tribe? That means find the people that you resonate with. And that's the people that have the values that you do, that you want to touch deeply. Who do you connect with? Who, what do you love to do? It, again, it's not about your photography yet. And it's not about selling yet. It's just finding who you want to connect with. You don't need all those thousands for sure. I didn't and I still don't. So you want to remember too that it is an emotional thing because you want to be happy. So this is something that was very important to me. Um, making sure that I understand my client is not sell. We don't sell to emotions. I mean, to the for the picture itself, we are connecting with emotions. We're human beings. Even men are emotional. <laughs> so I don't want you to think about numbers, okay? This really goes deeper. We're going to find who is your client. So all you have to do right now is figure out likes, dislikes. How do you, how do you talk to your people, your tribe? What is their interest? What's their hobbies? Uh, what are their values, uh, wants and needs, your pains and their fe fears? All those are verbiage. You know what I use is otter. It's otter, O I, or whatever. Anyways, if you don't like to write this stuff down, you can verbally say these things and you're going to see a path. You're going to see a, a pattern, a path to your voyage to find the clients, but you're going to see a pattern of repetition words that you truly love. Maybe passionate, soft, elegant, harsh, who knows what it is, but I want you to feel, oh gosh, here comes the wind. That's usually when I lose the internet. <laughs> Hey, Anna, nice to see you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's so nice. Ha ha. Say hi, you guys. Hello. Hello. Yes. My internet is going crazy, but I, I, I'm here. I'm here. Um, okay. So let me go back. So the first one that we were talking about is you. Now we're talking about your clients. So we need to find who is your clients. So let me just say what about me. So this is what I'm giving you examples, right? So this way you can think about you. So what you want to do is I thought to myself, well, I would like somebody that likes hiking. Maybe you hate hiking, right? You're not my client then. This is when I'm selling photography, all right? So uh, maybe you don't like to go out with a, you know, in a hotel or you don't want to go out to do that. Then that's not you got to think about you. I personally, Kevin and I personally love that kind of stuff when we we're in that realm. So that's what I'm saying. So you think about all of the things that I was just rattling on about and you give that person that has all these emotions, likes and dislikes. And guess what? You're going to put a name on that person on all the things. You're just going to say, I have Rochelle. Rochelle is that person. And she loves ice cream. She loves to go out and have a great dinner with her husband. A martini is a good thing too. Um, but let me see. Let me just, let me tell you, this is my client. These verbiages and the things that she likes is the person that I have written down. And then you know what else you do? And you hear this from other people and it works. It works. Go to the internet and put in, find a picture. Nobody's going to know. Do a screenshot and put that picture on with your name of the person that I had just went over and explained to you on how that person feels. So you, Rochelle, a picture of her, and that is your client. Those people will resonate with your photography. Those people... The, now I'm talking broad, right? I'm talking broad right now. We've turned people into person. And you can say, well, Janice, there's like, I, I, but I, you know, that person might, you know, I don't know. I have Rochelle and I have a Jim and I have a Jack and a, a Jill or whatever. No, 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 no. This one person has all the feelings and all of that verbiage right there is where you go. First, it's you. Now you're looking at someone that resonates with you. Don't worry about, oh, I want to sell to hotels. Oh, I want to sell on stock. I want to sell. Da -da. That's the wrong way to go about doing this to find your true clients. Okay. Now is the best part. And I'm doing this quick because I got bad internet. I was planning on really talking slower so you guys can really get into it, but you can watch the replay. Okay. So 
we've gotten the goals and the values of this person. Probably it's almost like you. My Rochelle is a little different than me, but it could be somebody just like you. Most of the time it is because they have the values of you, but you want to be able to touch this person. I wanted to touch Rochelle who wanted to get away from her life of craziness and relax and smile when they see my piece, when they see my photograph. Now you may be totally different. They may be somebody that, you know, you like, I love to do this. Maybe you love rock and roll. You're a musician and you want to work with somebody that has a music, you know, your images may go on the cover of Van Halen, whatever, you know what I mean? So it could be totally different. You have to find yourself. Now here's the main thing, how to find them. You know you, you know who your client is. You put a name and you know them to a T. And now you're saying, okay, well, where do I find them, Janice? This is the next. Let me look real quick. Do you guys have any questions? Coffee. Okay, no questions yet. And I haven't found when there's a big, huge wind out here, that's when I freak out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. Finding them in a specific area. So uh, back in the days, it was lists. Nowadays, it's it rocks. Nowadays is so. It's proven that you could do this. Um, I am doing this. Where does this person hang out? Oh, there's Facebook, Twitter, um, Pinterest. There's Beyonce, which is a, it's a art area. There's so many different things that are out there. We know Facebook is rocking it. We know Instagram is rocking it. They're, that's where everybody's at. But maybe your client's on Twitter. You don't know yet, right? So we have to test. We have to test a little bit, not too much. You don't want to spend too much time. So. What I always suggest is when you now start to begin to share your work, because it's still your soul and heart and soul, it's your work, you start writing things out that you know your client would be searching for. So let's just say my client's going to go um, over to the Marriott in, you know, Georgia or whatever. So, you know, I, maybe I have an image. I don't have an image in Georgia. That's why I put it in there because I do want to go there. But anyways... Uh, so if I have an image in Georgia and I'm like, oh, this, this image was shot, uh, right next to the Marriott and da, 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 you know, I'm telling a story. We all know stories work. Here comes a big win, you guys. So we know that a story works. So you tell the story, but you use the verbiage that you know who you just Rochelle, your Rochelle is looking for. And it's not always photography. It's just a, a focus on what they love to do. And that brings connection to you. So if you like to, you know, travel, then traveling would be in it. If you'd like to hike, then hiking, you like to go to a florist, florist would be in it. What is your Rochelle doing? And that's what you start writing about. That's what you start putting in with your photographs. That's the inspiration of what you made in the first place. Wow, it's so windy, you guys, it's blowing my iPad. <laughs> or my laptop, it's my laptop. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, it's fall here in New Hampshire. <laughs> and so with that said, you start talking and you start writing the, these things out. Please do not detour from Roche. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I can see it when it just spins. It goes like this. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hey, 
progress, not perfection. Okay, you guys remember that. <laughs> so the algorithms are the ticket. Once you start connecting and talking and saying the verbiage that you need to, to connect with the people that you want to connect to, uh, let's just use Facebook. Face, Facebook knows. They know, and they're going to bring people to you. And then when you're when you're um, co connecting to them and you're saying, hey, you know, they say, oh, I love your photograph. Thanks so much. Have you been here? Conversation. It's not fake. It's something that you truly enjoy. It, it has to be real. It's the real way of connecting. If you think somebody's going to come and just find you, that's that's not that's not going to happen in our saturated world. It's about you going ahead and enjoying the process of being able to connect to people that you enjoy and your work will resonate with them. People, it, it will happen because the algorithms will start bringing people to you. And when you know that there's a client, oh, hey, I really love your work. You know, how can I get some, how can I buy it? Don't be freezing. Oh, that's wonderful. You want to have a chat? You want to talk about it? We're, you know, I would love to this go on, go to, then you just say, hey, let's do a private message. And then that's where it starts building up. So the clients are there because you're engaging as a person. It's meaningful conversation because it, you resonate with them. So um, I really feel that what happens is a lot of people just go all over the place and they're not really going first within their soul. They're not figuring out who do they really want to work with, not the niche of I need to work with a stock photography. I need to work with an editor. No, that is such a wrong way of thinking about this. You that you resonate with, you will have. photography 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 no you need to hit the bots on where they like if you like me i like to travel where are they traveling what do they like um one of our client one of my clients loves waterfalls you better start talking about waterfalls so you can bring people in that love waterfalls so you see i hope that does that make sense let me know if there's a yes in there if you that makes sense or it doesn't make sense i want to know please let me know in the chat and tell me if you're still alive and you're still here because I'm talking so fast because my internet is crazy. Can you tell me if that makes sense or do you need a, a little bit more? Let me know in the chat. I know I'm delayed. So go for it now while I look and make sure that everything is okay. I hope so. I hope it makes sense. Let me see. I'm going to look. Still here. Yes. Oh, the internet's not working. Oh, hi, Boris. Nice to meet you. Yes. I know. I'm so sorry, you guys. I just hope you, maybe you can't see me very well, but hopefully you can hear me good. Awesome. I'm glad it makes sense. Okay, you guys. Still here. Okay. So sorry about the internet. Yes. And I always say progress, not perfection, but these three things will work. They do. They work for me. They work for my clients. So um, what I want you to do is always remember when you do these, uh, you know, connecting and writing these things and putting your work out there and connecting and saying the verbiage that you do, take, go back and listen to my words, watch this and do it and give yourself at least I say about three weeks before the bots start to help and bring things to you. You'll start seeing, you'll start seeing when you get more and more of who you want to work with. And then that's when you start making the connections. That's when you start saying, okay, this person, um, I definitely, because you don't want to work with everyone. You don't want to work with everything, everyone for sure. You want to just work with the people that is your tribe. Okay. So you will make very uh, long lasting connections for sure. When you grow your business, this is just the tip of the iceberg. So I'm going to give you guys um, real quick. I'm going to send, let me see if there's any questions. Your image freezes time to time. Oh, so sorry. I, I, yeah, 
Good. I'm glad the voice is here because that's the main thing. I want you to be able to hear what I have to say. So what I want to do is from, so these are the three things, but I want to let you know that for a short time, I am opening up the photo creative method. We really dive in. I've got nine slots, slots less, not nine slots left to say that three times um, to really find your clients and to focus on you. And what we're doing is we're having a um, actual masterclass that's going to start November 1st. And just like I say to you guys, I'm going to give you guys a, an appointment calendar if you're interested in um, thinking about doing this and really full force into your business, then we're going to be starting soon. And it is, uh, we start November 1st, but it's, I only have nine more slots left. If you want, we can chat. I put my calendar link in, in the chat. So if you guys want to get on a phone call, because I don't want to work with just anybody, I want to help people that truly need it. And I know that they are, want to really focus on their photography business because you can do this. Um, this is what we do is a step-by-step. -step. Um, we're going to have eight weeks of boom, boom, boom. You get the stuff. Every, everything that we do, we work to build your photography business to get you moving forward on who you truly want to work with. And I need to make sure that you guys, whoever are, is interested, will definitely, um, you know, I can help. I don't want to just get anybody in here. So I, what we do is we make sure that you stand out from the crowd and truly live a wonderful life like I am traveling around the United States <laughs> and trying to get to my daughter's internet that didn't work. But you, I just want you to know you can find clients. And um, if you need a coach or a mentor, I'm here for you. We start November 1st and a book a call and let's get it going. I already have someone that just signed up yesterday. And so I'm excited about that. And I truly would love to work with you if you guys are interested and uh, make sure that you do these steps. You say in three weeks, we will, you will get and find who your clients are. Tell me in the chat, what's your biggest takeaway? Did you get anything out of this? I would love to um, find out if anything, I'm going to look at the questions and I'll start answering the questions and let me know in the chat what you, what was your biggest takeaway? That'd be great. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm going to look at, oh, thank you, Chuck. Thank you. Thank you. He says, I'm stating some good, good points. True. I've been doing this for years. Uh, let's see. Have you done subjects uh, specific to marketing? You uh, can find referred to the waterfall example. Have you done specific marketing? Uh, well, have you done subject specific marketing? No, I don't do subject marketing for me. What I do is like, okay, so this person, let me just give you an example. That's a great question, Boris. So basically this photographer that's in in the program he um he loves waterfalls but that doesn't mean he's that's just you know when he talks about his work he wants to connect with not just waterfalls he likes people that are hiking and uh, getting on the outdoors so his verbiage is different than maybe what your verbiage would be so when we market, like market, what people say, I don't really like, truly like the word marketing, even though we know it's marketing. It's about having conversations and finding people that resonate with you. So when we do, when I go through the steps, I help people understand who they want to work with. And we communicate with that person. It's not waterfall. Like here's my image of a waterfall coming by it. That's not going to do any good. You got to connect to the person who loves to do what he likes and what he wants. And that will bring in ways of to talk to your clients. Now, there's even more to that because you can get even deeper. Yes, we're finding your clients, but how? what are you doing for your clients? Is it just one image? Some people license, some people print, some people commission. Uh, one of our clients, woohoo, uh, Stacy! Oh, she just got a commission. So there's so many variety ways, but that's 
with the true soul, that's what we do in our program. We focus on you individually and find out what you truly want. I tried, I tried. So I tried, the wind's going crazy, the internet's bad. Um, yeah, I did my best. It's, I know I'm back. When the wind hits here, it's just, it's just something bad. Let, just so you know that, um, when we, any of you guys are serious about booking a call, if you, we, we get on the phone and when I have live calls, I go to an internet. This was an emergency. So I'm sorry that the internet was not the best. I apologize, but the, the stuff that I've given you is true to my heart and the program is amazing. And I really do hope that you uh, take me up and book a call just to chat, just to chat and see if I can help you with your photography business. And again, I'm, I'm going to go back on Facebook and do this again because it's horrible. So I'll do Facebook next week. How's that? If you guys are on Facebook next Friday, I'll go. I'm going to be on Facebook. I'll make sure my daughter's here so I'll have better internet. I'll say the same things. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm just going to have to say, unfortunately, goodbye. But it was still good. Progress on perfection. You still have to get out of here. You still have to do it. Come back on Facebook. Ask me questions down below. If any of you guys uh, have questions, I'm here for you. Okay. All right. You take care. Take. Take care. <laughs> Woo. All right. Bye guys.